I was lucky enough to get all this ash wood that was going to be thrown out during a local shop renovation. I cut it into 35mm by 25mm battens on my table saw. I've set my router up on a little jig to cut some half laps on these pieces of ash. They're the ones I would have showed you in a clip there earlier that I rescued from getting thrown out. Basically I'm just going to cut a half lap across here using this edge to keep me straight going across. So that's the first set of half laps routed out. It's in the band clamp now. I also use little spring clamps to clamp the corners uh, of the half lap, just to give some downward pressure. The band clamps pretty much just pulling it together. And those clamps are putting the downward pressure so it dries nice and strong on the joint. Okay, so my frame's going to hang that way on the wall. So what I need to do is mark the positions I'm going to put the lines that are going to be going across to put the clothes pegs on and to hang the pictures. So all the pictures that I'm going to be hanging are between uh, 13 by 13 size or 10 by 15 uh, centimeters. So what I did was in millimeters I came down from the corner here 30 millimeters and then I divided out how many of the bigger pictures I could fit so each increment as you go down is 155 millimeters 155 155 until you get to the end and your last string will be going across here to the far side so now what I need to do is just bring these lines over the edge and then just mark halfway on the frame here so that I can put in a little eye screw to tie the line to. So I needed to mark the position for the hole that I'm going to drill for each uh, of the screws with the hook on it that I'm going to put in to hold the string for the frame. So I just use my square, move it down along to each mark I put on the front of the frame and at the half inch mark I just put a little pencil, pencil mark for where I'm going to drill the hole. So I did that the whole way down. Now I just have to do the other side as well. So I'm just using the drill with a small bit to drill a hole where I've marked earlier to put one of the little hooks in. Like these are little brass eye hooks. screw one of them into each of the holes I drill and that's it so that's all the hooks put in there now
outside's done. Okay, so my favorite way to hang a picture frame is using these little uh, keyhole hooks or holders. I just need to route a little groove for it and drill a hole so that the screw head can fit inside and slot up into the hook. I had to fill that with a little bit of resin there. Out of all the corners, it was the worst one. It just came out a little bit off. I'm not sure if I just didn't clamp it tight enough or what happened, but with a bit of resin in it, it should be fine. It was a bit quick and dirty, but it'll definitely do the job. I just need to drill a hole in the centre here, which will let the screw head slot up so that the frame stays in the wall. And then just put a screw on either end. So I just marked the position of the keyhole on each side. And I'm going to drill that there now. I just clean the rest of it out with a chisel. And that's the hanger screwed in. I made my own homemade dowel maker so that I could make some walnut dowels to reinforce the corners of the ash frame. It can be hard to find dowels in any other material other than pine or oak around here. So this worked out fairly well for me. The dowels I made are six millimeters in diameter. I'm going to measure in 12 mil from the inside edge and uh, 12 mil from the outside edge and put a mark and that's where I'm going to drill the holes for the reinforcement dowels. That's it marked and now I'm going to drill the holes. Next I'm just going to add a bit of glue and hammer home the dowels. I'm just going to finish off the frame in a water-based lacquer, brush it on. I sanded the frame to 320 grit and then just used a bit of wire wool to give it a bit of a sheen before I varnish. I have this uh, jute twine. I'm just going to tie a piece across each side of the frame from hook to hook all the way down along and that's what I'm going to be using to hang the pictures on. Just one little trick, I find that this jute rope 
uh, it opens really easily I find on the knots so I just put a little bit of super glue into each knot to keep it closed It just soaks in and stops the knot from opening. And that's the frame hung up on the wall. I think it turned out really well. I love the little detail with the walnut dowels on the corners and I think it looks great for wood that otherwise would have been dumped in a skip or into the landfill. I'm really happy with it.